You have a new book out about America's First Ladies called Unusual for Their Time. Yes. Tell me about how you got interested in writing about them. Sure. I, I was part of a production team that did C-SPAN's First Ladies Influence and Image series. For that series, I traveled to every library, museum, church, cemetery, school that related to every First Lady from Martha Washington to Michelle Obama. When I was there, I basically had an all-access pass to some of the greatest historical collections in existence. What are some of the more miraculous things that you saw during your travels? Sure, I, I, there were amazing things. I held a letter that Martha Washington, the first first lady, wrote to Abigail Adams, the second first lady, sort of about how they did it and the transfer of power. Um, there were earrings that were woven from Elizabeth Monroe's hair, vaults and letters and papers. And when I went to the Smithsonian here in Washington, D.C., I went in the, the back archival entrance and sort of up a secret elevator and pressed time little punch codes to, to get into these rooms where they held things that, that are too fragile to go on display. I saw things that some people will never see. It's just, just absolutely amazing. And the ladies themselves, how do the historical ones compare to some of our modern? That's a, that's a great question because we're right in the middle of a campaign season right now. And you hear in the news, this is the worst campaign season or the most vicious campaign season. This person said this about someone's wife and kids or whatever. I always say it's not that bad because no one died. When Andrew Jackson ran against John Quincy Adams, his wife Rachel had a stroke, a heart attack, and died. And Andrew Jackson says it was because of the John Quincy Adams campaign machine that said horrible things about her in the press. She never made it to the White House, but her ghost was kind of the first lady of the Jackson administration. So it, it just, all these stories and more are in the book. It, it was just an amazing adventure, amazing journey, and I'm happy to share it with everybody. Well, thank you for speaking with us. Thank you. Andy Oak, the first ladies' man. I'm Augusta Casada, lightset.com.